hard way. When you're going to take your stall there, just don't think about your stall itself. Think about you are part of a big festival. It will give you a different perspective. So it's like somebody come to you and say, where the to toilet is? Happily tell them where it is, if you know it. Otherwise, there's an information stall there as well. Because they will take it as a good gesture. They might come back to your stall as well. And think about we are all team, you, me, and we are serving the community at the happy moment of their day. It's an Eid. It's a happiness. So I'm going to quickly cover about what is my stall objectives or what I want to achieve out of that beside the money. How should I prepare before I come to this uh, map? How should I present my stall? The brother was asking uh, the competition. I believe competition is for the people who don't want to think. And then, how should I engage with the customers? Just put my stuff and wait for them to buy? And at the end, when the event is over, is it really over? Okay. Can we get me turn the light? Let's get going. I wanted to do, this is a very interesting thing to do. If you're willing, it take a two minute, but uh, I know because to save time, because I have to go as well. Normally I ask everybody in a very quick way, we have a software, we use it. But now I ask you what uh, you done uh, before? Yes, last year. Last, last year. Last year. Yeah. This is your second time. Yes. yes. But during that, have you have done many. Oh yes. So yeah. you're a market store. Yeah. Um, I was one in the sugar cane juice place. Okay. So. You are basically food food store. Yeah. And how would you? Uh, so first time in that. Yeah, yeah. And but did multiple. So you do face painting. Your ones? Uh, just exhibition store. Ex exhibition. Yeah. Self clothes. Just right. in the mm -hmm. LED balloons. Wow, that's interesting. Your ones is? Um, I'm going to have books, we sell uh, Islamic children's books. Okay. Okay, excellent. I heard about your one. It's really excellent, I mean, sir. Look at that, many people couldn't understand your model, which means you're already innovative. People sometimes just look at a stall, they come to you. Same with the sugar cane one, I see the display attract them. And I just go, like, I want to try because they present it so well. Let's go share the next one. Skip that one. I tell you one story, it's not mine. Festivals for the special, the new one is the best way to try a new idea. So I know the guy met, he couldn't find a job 20 years ago. Somebody said, to go into no more, try selling something. He was from Pakistan, which is having a biggest sort mine in the world. So he started to pursue that because that time medical science has said it's really good for the health. So he imported some, tried to sell it because it's a new idea, nobody could, that time there was no online thing. So what he said, somebody said go festival and he came, ended up in a map and where he had a bad start because it, it's only one product and it's expensive, no money, many people know, but at the end, halfway through, he learned how to pitch it. He, he learned from the customer and he had the lucky one because when you get 15, 20,000 people, he found one lead from a wholesaler from North Sydney who guided him through and said, just don't worry about it, just import for me. He's still selling it with a different form, cube form, this form, that form. But I'm saying, any idea, even the season one you've done before, add something which will bring a new taste. It can be a new package. So keep going, share. So this is what I'm saying. You gotta be feel excited about it. It's a party time. We already got this is very important slide to tell you about. So many people come with a one mindset, I'm going to sell. It's okay. But you have to have a marketing head on. I'm going to sell, it's alright. But I'm a business as well. I'm not only sell here. Okay, I sell food, but I'm also doing a catering. So if I'm doing a catering, I can also put a business card there with a little flyer. That's my marketing objective. You might not focus it. If it's a focus, you should have one person extra just doing that. Because I'm also representing there. I've got a stall there. You will see me there. We have a brand focus. Not so much on brand awareness, but more on marketing and sale. So we have two teams, two guys with a one a half day shift. One person just get it, collecting the emails. And he'll be doing lots of 
I'll share that. He's, he'll be doing a lot of fun stuff where people just stand and say, what he's doing? We're going to have a little competition. On the other side, we have two guys just doing the enrollments because we do innovative workshops ourselves. So we sell workshops. And then we, uh, having that objective in mind, you will present your stall differently. I struggle, first time when I was doing myself, I was trying to switch my hair marketing and a sales, and I was struggling. Because um, when I'm trying to get the newsletter, there's another guy who just wanted to buy something. So I realized I should not have two roles. You know. So with this time we're done, have a separate team. It might cost now, but it's a one shot, one day, 15,000 people. Next. So preparation is, is a thought process and plus is it something to do at the home. For example, I've seen people, they get the idea on the stall, now they're looking for a Sharpie and making a sign. That looks really unprofessional. Okay. So what I do now, because I've done few, I come up with the picture in my mind, okay? What kind of thing I do? On the other side, I look at it, how I'm going to make people stop at my store. It doesn't matter that is directly related to my sale channel or not. For example, one guy, $20 investment, he made a bubble. You know what? Bubble coming up, everybody looking at that. That's all you need. I run it for five minutes, kids come do this, and the parents have to stand. That's what people do. The old ways, giving pan and lollies is gone. People have too many. So you need to come up with something. For example, he shows how the sugar canes are produced or something like that. It's nothing to do with the sugar, yeah. but they want to know. They stand up. So that is the thing you need. So if you have a picture, always take a picture of your stall. If you're getting new stuff, just show him a picture, set it up like that. I don't have time to explain to you everything. And if you're a new stall, never done it, set it up at home. Take a picture yourself. Look at it from the customer perspective. If I'm standing outside, what I perceive, especially as a kid, what do you see here? And Zahan already covered me on time, paper ready, extra stock. What these three things will give you? Relaxation will be calm, which I'm not now because I'm in short of time. I have to go somewhere else. But whenever I go, I do a stall, I always make sure I get 10 minutes after I set it up. And I walk like a customer because this is a golden tip for you. Just walk like a customer because that 10 minutes, you cannot get it again till next year. <laughs> Because when the phase started, That's easy, so That's easy. Stuff. you will be stuck in your store. Even you will be asking, okay, do we have a border to be here? Mm -hmm. But I can't get up. <laughs> and when you go at the end, all you see leftovers. So why, what I do, I look at the two things. Innovation, somebody did it because I love it. Second thing, who's my competitor? If you find they have the same barbecue style, you just flick around the sign, focus something which they don't have. The good news is we don't have many stalls. And I tell you, I done it myself. It's kind of a thing. Famous stall, very busy. My stall, newcomer, big queue. Okay, I get from him. I can't wait. I get the leftover sale, but it's more than what I could sell it independently. These are small things. That Innovation is unlimited stuff. More you think about it, it comes with the feedback and interaction. So this is my recommendation. Spend 10 minutes after set it up. Even you've done 90 percent, say, look, let me walk around. Oh, they have a toy. I have to, I don't have a thought you can package two things and make a bundle deal. You know what I mean? It's nothing wrong with people call it cheating, I call it inspiration. Okay? <laughs> so don't be. Oh yes. So, as I said, when you, when you are presenting a stall, I always prefer to set it up from the outside. Have you seen sometime, you could go to a bookstall, 
and all the books are facing backward because he put all the books like this. <laughs> when you're standing outside, you keep watching it that now uh, is it presentable? Don't make too much noise in the front because you got five seconds for your customer to catch it. If it's too noisy, they won't get it. Get something smaller, attractive, a good value stock. Not the cheap stock in a cheap cost. It's something, look at um, what the bullies do, office works do. The value stock, they drop the price just to get the people in. They lo might lose money there, but when you in there, the volume will be. I mean, I guarantee whenever you went to buy one thing from Woolies, you always come with a friend. Fine. Sometimes you miss that one thing. <laughs> That's it. It happens. You went there, you realize, oh, you don't need, you need that. That's very good tip what sister said. That's what I use. If somebody come, I never say no. I always say, let me check. That let me check, give me a 10 second to think about how I'm going. He's already here. God already sent him. It's now up to me, can I sell a lot? So I say, oh, let me check. Are you looking for a pen, yellow one? Yellow is not a problem, but I got a blue one. Can you look at it? And you engage with it. You see how far you can go with it. Okay? And similarly, then I go next one. I say, look, what do you need pen for? Oh, my kid wants, forget about it. We don't need pen. There is a thing, raisable now. Pens cost too much and this, this and this. You use this one, kids love it now. And you bring something which they never thought about it. Every customer, not, not necessarily want to buy something. They have a problem, they want to solve it. Can you provide a solution? It doesn't have to be what they want. So this is a time to learn for yourself as well, new thing, because customer teach you a lot nowadays. They are very clever. He already covered the space between uh, two neighbors. And I tell you, the worst Practice to just start arguing with your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Keep the smile up. Whoever comes first will get more space. This is natural. You can't deny it. That's why I say come first. So you set up your thing. If you come corporate, remember that neighbor rights are very high value in every culture because you're going to spend a day with it. If he's grumpy at you, you're grumpy at you, you're going to keep looking at each other, not the customers. But if you have a healthy relation, they're going to recommend you, you're going to recommend them, you have to go somewhere, they look after your stall, and you never know you become friends, even your competitor, there's always something good out of it. It can be your guide as well, and as I said before, learn from the experts. If you're a new one, look at the people who've done many times, and look at what, how they're surviving. If you see them after 20 years, means they're making money, okay? So this is my philosophy because I believe in engagement a lot. I say never ever just try to push things to people, talk to them. At the end of the day, God created all these things so we can talk to each other. Otherwise I can make this presentation and go. You can self run, but won't give that impact. What you get as a, as a rela uh, rela uh, relation with the customer. My philosophy is nowadays, it's not important what you have to offer. It's all important. You, do you know what they need? That's why I had a full slide. To, I wanted to know more about you. So I only talk about your things. Okay? Then you feel it's related. Then you say, no, oh, it's valuable. I can do that. Like from you, I'll, I'll share some of the tips which I, because I've done once, I really enjoyed it. Because it's, it's a niche area. You can go either way because you only got one product. But I can, I can give you some tips on that. So engage with your customer and if you get a guru somewhere running a business like example I gave you, then you go down and say, look, teach me, get a business card, get customer detail, whoever gives you, acknowledge it, appreciate it. Some people go, oh, you're selling very basic stuff. I have seen this, wow, very nice. Can you show me a picture? They will flatter. It happened with me. I went for a training. A teacher, 55 years experience. I don't know why she's still teaching. She's really old. I know this, I know that. I said, no, okay, can you help me? I have no clue. They send me here, I can't do it. All right, I tell you this and that. And then, in the middle of the session, a young lady asked me a question. It was 
she was limping like a road to it. And she stood up and said, this poor guy here doing a job, just sit down. <laughs> Make use of it. Don't be fence off, don't worry. And try to argue. Never argue with a customer, a boy and a teacher and a dad. <laughs> you always lose. <laughs> so at the end they say, look, whoever come to your store, if you interact with and they leave in, just ask feedback, especially the European customers, a customer you said uh, met before, just ask them, how am I going? It's nothing wrong. If the compliment is good, if they give you a tip, that's the biggest return of the day. Because some people calculate how much money did I make today. If you're new business, you need to say, look, I was also doing a market effort. So I might get follow-up sales, I might get a lead. And those leads you need to preciously keep it. So when you event is over, When the event is over, you can follow them up and make sure you pack everything, dispose the rubbish because I normally look around and find what is the goodies they left. <laughs> so make sure when you go back, those things, I normally nowadays what I do, I have a young associate, I say look, what's up me, what's up because I know the paper going to be hard because especially if you have a cat or something, she's going to chew everything what you have. So make sure you process them is something very hard you had a tiring day falling day you don't want to do anything but spend a time following because that is your bonus money that's the icing on the cake if you follow it up you might get a relation new relation new link and so this that's about it if you have any question if you personal one i can do one to one but if you said you think it's a general one then um, you can ask now. I really appreciate you guys stayed back because frankly speaking, I do it for the community 12 years I've been doing here. And last year when I saw people are struggling with the basic stuff, so I made a video out of it. And this time I like I went to do a, alhamdulillah I'm a highly paid trainer. I teach teachers how to teach. Even though my English is not as good as the Aussies, but I'm surviving all right. So once again, thank you and good luck. I'll be having a stall and my team is called Young Innovators. We only love innovations. And you will see these kids over there doing stuff on the stage. And uh, if you have any things over there as well, find me if you can and I'll try to help you. Thank you. Any questions? Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you and uh, enjoy your time. Thank you.